So for startup power, is this simply the, the amount of initial power it will try to start the commutation? Or it's yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a, it sets a floor and also it sets a level of a little bit of a boost above the, um, the very lowest just to get uh, the inertia broken in the motor, just to get it spinning. It's just a very, very short little sort of burst of power. And then um, the, I didn't really see a point in starting the actual um, motor throttle at complete zero because nothing happens for zero to two percent on or whatever i don't know two percent but it is some to it is for the first little bit nothing happens so i just started at the point where it actually will hopefully get most motors at least turning but most of the time even with startup power to 100 if you give it a the lowest throttle value of you know d shot one or something out of 2000 it might not get the motor spinning so it's just it's just the the, the lower floor for for the uh power so if i have like a high motor. inertial load or like a gearbox i should probably increase the startup power maybe a bit more yeah and then it's going to use a little bit more of a boost when getting that motor spinning and uh, raise the uh, the very lowest a little bit okay but uh, stall protection can also help out too when it comes to uh keeping the motor above above a certain rpm and increasing power when it gets down below that rpm so but startup power is yeah it, it just generally raises the very minimum rpm that the the uh, speed controller is allowed to go